Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Mm. Oh, there's a gear in there somewhere, I'm sure there is. This car doesn't have sync to mesh reverse, I'm sure. Yeah, good morning, everybody. I'm getting fed up with scraping the ice off the car. Sorry, I'm fibbing there. I don't actually scrape it. I just turn the car on and let it do it itself. But I actually get to speak to the neighbours more of a morning now, as we're all doing it. It's terrible. Really over it. But never mind. What date are we on? I can't see my watch. It's the 13th. 13th of April, so... I'm off on holiday next Monday. It's our bank holiday, so I get a long weekend this weekend. And this time I'm fairly certain it's that day. So, go me. Uh, yeah, minus one, Tuesday morning, off to work. Going to be a lovely sunny day by the looks of it. It got really warm yesterday, so. On the plus side, it didn't snow last night, so that's the first time we've not had snow for a week and a bit. So I'll take that. So things are on the up. And now, I should get off to work and enjoy my working day. Moving on. said that it didn't really matter because we're still kind of in lockdown we're in local lockdown we can't go too far so you know it's not how we can get out and about well you never know hopefully tomorrow morning i'm not least the weather forecast but hopefully tomorrow morning there's gonna be no ice now i'm nearly home so i don't know what we're doing tonight i know what i did last night i started watching tv and fell asleep because that's what I do. It's my my uh, one of my pastimes that is falling asleep in front of the television. But anyway, back concentrate now and see if we can get past this wagon. Moving on. Okay, guys, look where I've just come home to a midweek Tuesday chicken roast, and it's just waiting for me to carve. Now, am I saving some of that for? the other meal no i mean if you want to i mean i just want the breast because obviously i don't eat like me so if you want to save the legs and take them to work for your lunch tomorrow with some salad then you go for it that's what i'm gonna do so carving time okay guys so there's tea and i'm standing here now the sun coming through that window is gorgeous and i am hungry so i'm gonna get on and eat that now i've got a big tea bag a new t-shirt has arrived. As usual, I can't open it. It has something green on it. Shark. Shrek shark. <laughs> Get out of my sea. Doesn't want to wreck assist. It's covered in cat hair. Okay, so what have you got? This is a new book box that I have decided to subscribe to. One of my new book boxes. Did we do my other book box for the channel? Yes. 
we did. Okay, so this is the second one, um, and this is called Books That Matter. This is a book box subscription service run by women for women, um, and the books are written by women. For women. For everybody. Um, and it says, putting the classics of tomorrow in your hands today. So this is actually my first first box, so I like the packaging, it just goes, it should just go straight through the letterbox but they left it in the shed because it was Hermes and that's what Hermes does. So this month's box is called Dare, Dare to be Powerful and it is celebrating Women's Black History Month, Black Women's History Month, I'm not quite sure how that goes around but that's what it is. So. Dare to be powerful. Oh, and there's a an at and a hashtag as well. Note to Alan. Mm -hmm. So in the box, this is actually a two book box. It's a special edition two book box. So the first book that I've got is Conjure Women by Afia Atakora, I want to say. Um and it looks really, really interesting. It's actually a kind of a spooky mystery. Um, type of thing. Uh, you're free to decide your future, but how do you escape the ghosts of the past? The pale skinned black eyed baby is a bad omen. Rue knows it, but for once, despite her skill as a midwife, she doesn't know what to do. Times have changed since her mother held the power to influence the life and death of her fellow slaves. Freedom has come, but this new world brings new dangers and when sickness sweeps across her tight-knit community, Rue finds herself the focus of suspicion. What secrets does she keep amidst the charred remains of the big house? Which spells has she conjured to threaten their children? And why is she so wary of the charismatic preacher man who promises to save them all? Conjure Woman is a captivating novel of belief and suspicion, friendship and betrayal, and the lengths we will go to to save the ones we love. So I'm really looking forward to this, actually. It sounds really, really good. Um, so I got that. And we've got two... These are just greetings cards, blank greetings cards, but they've, both, they've got quotes in them. Um, time is how you spend your love, Zadie Smith. And there are years that ask questions and years that answer. And that's Zora Neale Hurston. And these are by Emma Dot Make. So I've got two and two envelopes. They're really pretty. Um, then I have a pair of socks. I'll keep your tootsies warm. Which are quite nice, yeah. And these are also by Emma Make. And I've got a pink salad London lip gloss, which smells like strawberries. So that's going to be used because I really like that. And the second book that I got is Audrey Lord's. The master's tools will never dismantle the master's house. And this is actually a, a, like a, a selection of essays. Um, I'm not going to lie, I actually don't know anything about it, but I am going to read it. <laughs> and then you will know. And then I'll know. Um, and then we've got the promo card for Conjure Women which tells you a bit about the back and the artwork on that's really cool and because you can't have too many bookmarks and a bookmark because you can never have too many bookmarks and it says on the back where the words of women are crying to be heard we must each of us recognize our responsibility to seek those words out to read them and share them and examine them in their pertinence to our lives. And that's actually by Audre Lorde, who wrote the essays in the book that I don't know anything about. But that was kind of, that was actually really kind of the point of me getting 
both this book box and the book retreat box, it was to force me into reading books that were outside of my comfort zone, to challenge me to read from different worldviews and different opinions and, you know, to see different narratives. I'm not explaining it very well, but I'm sort of, rather than reading high fantasy written by a lot of old white men, I should really be reading a lot more diversely about a variety of subjects. I'm still not going to be a romance fan, not going to lie, definitely not going to happen. But between this and the classics, which again is mostly written by old white men, but they are the foundation stones of the fiction that we're reading now, so I would like to read some of them. And now I'm waffling, as Alan would say, so moving on.